What's up EFD, with the January window closing last week, let's count down 10 of the smartest clubs in Europe when it comes to squad building and doing deals. 10. Inter Milan Favourites to retain the Serie A title as this goes out, few predicted that Inter would have been in this position last summer when Antonio Conte, Romelu Lukaku and Ashraf Hakimi all left the San Siro. Most clubs would take years to recover from losing such important individuals in one go, especially with limited funds to reinvest. But the Nerazzurri responded superbly, hiring Simone Inzaghi, who was once tipped to join rivals Juventus, while replacing Lukaku with Edin Dzeko, Hakimi with Denzel Dumfries and Christian Eriksen with Hakan Shananoglu for a total sum of 12.5 million euros. The Italian champions spent 36.8 million euros overall in the summer of 2021, while bringing in over 200 million from sales. And yet under Inzaghi, they arguably look even better than they did under Conte, with Dzeko and Chalanoglu two of the most consistent performers. Meanwhile, signings from previous campaigns like Nicolo Barella, Alessandro Bastoni and Lautaro Martinez continue to find new levels to their game, and will no doubt bag the club a healthy profit should they decide to leave in the future. In one of the most competitive leagues in Europe, Inter have managed to improve in difficult financial circumstances. It's no wonder that the club are set to renew the contracts of CEO Beppe Marotta and sporting director Piero Asilio. 9. Aston Villa Back in 2017, the Financial Times published the Smart Football Spending League table, based on data from accounting firm KPMG, measuring the league performance of European clubs in comparison to transfer spending and size of wage bill. The study saw Aston Villa and the aforementioned Inter ranked in the bottom 15. And it was no surprise, in 2012-13 the Villains finished 15th in the Premier League despite having the 8th largest wage bill, while only Man United and Chelsea had larger debt. And after four straight seasons of flirting with relegation, they finally went down with a whimper in 2016. But fast forward to 2022 and almost four years since being taken over by Nassif Sawiris and Wes Edens, the villains are among the most canny players in the transfer market. John McGinn was signed for just £2.8 million in their first summer, and the club's hit rate has been very solid since then, with Esri Konza, Matt Target, Ollie Watkins, Matty Cash and Emmy Martinez all impressing for a side which has quickly re-established itself in the Premier League following a rocky first season back in 2019-20. Jack Grealish, who was instrumental in keeping them up that season, was then sold to Man City for over £100 million a year later, meaning an academy graduate bagged them huge riches both in television revenue and a transfer fee. And not even the sacking of Dean Smith has thrown them off course with replacement Steven Gerrard making a positive start and making the club more attractive to a superstar like Felipe Coutinho. What's more, Villa have become masters of getting deals done with minimal fuss, with both Danny Ings and Callum Chambers signed with zero media speculation. Now only Leicester and the Big Six have a higher squad value than Villa in the Prem. 8. Borussia Dortmund a predictable entry given Borussia Dortmund's recent history of creating superstars, the German club have such a reputation that they are now seen as the logical choice for aspiring world beaters, from Erling Haaland to Gio Reyna and Jude Bellingham. Masters of gaining maximum profit from their stars, the big money sales of Usman Dembele, Christian Pulisic and Jadon Sancho have contributed to the club sustaining the lowest net spend in Germany over the past seven years, a time period in which they have never failed to qualify for the Champions League and have finished outside the top three three just once. Meanwhile, the only other club in Europe's top five leagues to have posted bigger profits in the transfer market in that time are Lyon and Lille, neither of whom have appeared in Europe as consistently as Dortmund. They have of course been unable to convincingly challenge Bayern Munich for some time, but as long as BVB continue to be run as smartly as they are, a time will surely come when their Bavarian rivals are easier to catch. And given the huge windfalls that will eventually come from Holland and Bellingham, the resources are there to build another seriously exciting squad. 7. Real Sociedad While it's now over 30 years since Real Sociedad abandoned their policy of signing only Basque players, something rivals Athletic Club have brilliantly sustained until the current day, they have still proven themselves to be very shrewd operators in the transfer market in recent seasons. The San Sebastian club have finished outside the top half of La Liga just once since 2015, and in that time have posted a profit of 8.7 million euros on transfers, with their Bilbao neighbours and Celta Vigo the only clubs to have remained in La Liga during that period and fare better than them in this regard. 
It must also be said that neither side has achieved as much as them on the pitch either, with La Real also getting their hands on the Copa del Rey in 2021, their first piece of silverware since 1987. At the heart of this success have been some superb purchases. Mikel Marino and Porto were signed for a combined 22 million euros, while Alexander Izak was brought in for just 15 million, with the club poised to make over five times that if the Swedish striker's release clause is met. And then there is the Sociedad Academy, which has produced a 30 million euro sale in Alvaro Odriozola, as well as Mikel Oyasabal, who is set to hit double figures in the league for a fifth consecutive season. All that's missing is Champions League football. 6. Red Bull Salzburg Over the last decade, Red Bull Salzburg have emerged as one of Europe's top talent factories, kick-starting the careers of Sadio Mane, Deo Upamecano and Erling Haaland to name just a few. And there are two key factors as to why they have been so successful at nurturing talent and profiting from it. First of all, Salzburg's scouting system is one of the best in the world. The club declares on its website its aim is to discover and sign highly talented young players as early as possible and as quickly as possible, while they have a policy of almost entirely avoiding players over the age of 23. Their global network has unearthed countless talents. In 2015, they signed Malian pair Amadou Haidara and DRD Samaseku for under 1 million euros combined and ended up selling them for almost 30 million. Similar kind of profits have been made on players like Nabi Keita and Douche Saleta Saar, among others. But talent spotting is no good unless you have a system to get the very best out of said talent, and the development of a distinct and consistent high-pressing style of play, something overseen by former Red Bull director Ralph Rangnick, has made the club a perfect stepping stone for aspiring stars, helping them develop both the physical and mental attributes needed to succeed in the big leagues. And not only are they now a trusted source of talent, but they don't need to charge much either, making them even more attractive to suitors. Only a few players have left Salzburg for over 20 million euros, but the fact they are able to sell so many each year due to their ability at finding cheaper replacements always leaves them with a healthy profit margin. 5. Sevilla it's fair to say that no one is as dedicated to Sevilla as Monchi. The former goalkeeper spent his entire playing career at the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan before retiring and becoming their director of football at just 30 years of age. With the Rocky Blancos having just been relegated at the time, he set in place the controls for future success, revitalising the club's academy and building a global network of over 700 scouts. The academy went on to produce Jesus Navas and Sergio Ramos, while the club's recruitment department unearthed Dani Alves and they became a force in Spanish football once more, winning the UEFA Cup and Copa del Rey and finishing just five points off top spot in La Liga in 2007. They've rarely dropped out of the top five since and have also won four more European trophies, with Monchi's eye for a bargain and excellent management behind the scenes at the heart of the club's success. It's perhaps no surprise then that when he left in 2017, performances quickly dropped on the pitch. And since returning two years later, the club has once again been on an upward trajectory. One of his first moves was to hire Yulan Lopetegui, and his appointment has proved inspired, with the club recording a record points tally in 2021 and mounting a legitimate title challenge in 2022. 4. FC Porto one of the clubs that inspired Monchi's approach at Sevilla, FC Porto produced and nurtured some of Europe's very best talent over the last two decades, from Deco to Pepe, Radamel Falcao to Eder Militao. But while rivals Benfica have posted significantly larger profits in the transfer market in recent years, the Dragons have been more successful on the European stage, reaching the Champions League knockout stages in five of the last seven seasons, while Benfica have done so just three times since 2015 not to mention the fact they remain the last club outside of England, Spain, Italy and Germany to win the competition. Their strategy is a fairly simple one, sell their best players for big money and bring in undervalued stars primarily from South America to replace them. As a result, they've posted a profit of at least 23 million euros in each of the last five seasons while remaining competitive both domestically and in Europe. In fact, since 2007, they have spent more than they have brought in on transfers in just one season, with Luis Diaz, El Militao, Felipe, Alex Tellez and Mangala costing a combined €46 million Euros and sold for almost five times that as a combined €225 million. And then there is their excellent academy, which has produced the likes of Fabio Silva, Andre Silva and Ricardo Pereira, all sold for hefty fees to aspiring Champions League clubs. Porto have very much set the blueprints for how to operate as a middling club in the transfer market. 3. FC Michelin 
But whereas Porto helped set the template for scouting and development, FC Micheland have been at the forefront of football's data revolution. Taken over by Brentford owner Matthew Benham in 2014, the Danish outfits have not only used analytics to help identify talent, but also helped them get ahead of their rivals on the training ground. Player success stories include Alexander Sorlot, who was signed from Groningen for under £500,000 and then sold to Crystal Palace for over £8 million just months later, and Jens Kahusta, who was signed for around 150 k in 2018 and recently sold to Rance for £9 million. But they are arguably more famous for their innovative coaching methods, famously hiring throw-in coach Thomas Grodemark, who has since been used by Liverpool and Ajax, also bringing in a ball-striking coach and even creating a room specifically for players and coaches to discuss set pieces. A club where thinking outside the box has become the norm, chairman Rasmus Ankerson has explained in the past how they have taken inspiration from the NFL, while he himself has written a book based on eliminating complacency in successful organisations. And the results have been staggering. Only founded in 1999, the club won its first league title in 2015 and has added two more since, reaching the Champions League groups for the first time in 2020. 2. Liverpool One of the elite clubs to have implemented the kind of ideas that outfits like Michelin and Salzburg have developed in recent years, Liverpool have enjoyed their most successful era since the 1980s thanks to a mix of modern coaching, cutting-edge tactics and top-notch recruitment. Winning a Champions League and Premier League and consistently ranking among the top three clubs in world football, despite generating a lower net spend than Everton, Brighton and Aston Villa since 2016. Quite simply, they are the most intelligent of the top clubs when it comes to buying. They rarely spend over £40 million on a player and when they do, he is almost a guaranteed hit, with Naby Keita just one of six not to be an unqualified success at Hanfield, and Salah, Firmino and Mane all arriving for under that price tag. And they have arguably been even better at selling, offloading Dominic Solanke and Danny Ward for a combined £31 million and taking advantage of Barcelona's Neymar windfall to sell Coutinho for upwards of £120 million, a sale which funded the transformative arrivals of Virgil van Dijk and Alisson. This has all been facilitated by the excellent working relationship enjoyed by Jurgen Klopp and sporting director Michael Edwards, who will leave his post this year. And with his successor Julian Ward instrumental in the recent Luis Diaz deal, the future looks bright on Merseyside. 1. Atalanta but arguably no club has used the transfer market to elevate themselves in recent years quite as effectively as Atalanta. Master tactician Giampiero Gasparini has transformed the Bergamo club into one of Europe's most exciting teams to watch since being appointed in 2016, extracting maximum potential from a number of undervalued signings, from Josep Ilicic to Christian Romero and Robin Gussens, who was signed for just over 1 million euros and is expected to make the club around 25 million once his loan to Inter Milan becomes permanent. Romero will land them around 50 million after they signed him from Juventus at under market value, while Academy graduates Amad Diallo, Dejan Kulisevsky and Alessandro Bastone were sold for a combined 116 million euros despite making less than 10 appearances between them in Bergamo. Like Salzburg, Atalanta are now a club that young players want to join, and given their excellent reputation are able to charge a premium from bigger clubs. One of the highest scoring sides in Italian football history, they are currently vying for a fourth consecutive top four finish in Serie A, and have done so consistently posting a profit in the transfer market, something the likes of Napoli, Milan and Juventus can only dream of doing. So those were our 10 most intelligent clubs in Europe, but were there any we missed out? Let us know in the comments below and we might do a part two. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and why not subscribe to EuroFootball Daily if you haven't done so already. Trust me, you won't regret it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.